you a mum? Yeah. So d d what does this do for your faith in humanity, the, 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 the fact that it is so dark out there in parts of the, of the web? My son's 15. He was contacted last year by a woman. Um, and this woman lived about 200 miles away and wanted to come and meet my son. And, and I thought, why does it? an 18-year-old want to meet the 14-year-old. And I spoke to Joe about it and I had said, you know, and he was like, so I had said to him, he did come to visit and speak to us and say, ma'am, look. And I was like, right, okay. Mm -hmm. You message her back and you say, you know, it's wrong. And, you know, you're not meeting her. Um, so he did do so, but yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm a mum and I've been, I, uh, as a family, we've been affected by it. All the team members that I've chose uh, have, have all been affected in, of abuse in certain different ways. So they're all in it for the right reasons. The lack of support after someone's been abused yeah. is uh, it's unbelievable. Tremendous. And what this is, is it, it acts like a therapy for the people that's within the group. I've seen them, the light come into the eyes, yeah. the smiles come back to the faces. It's very rewarding in, it in is, that way. It is, it's very rewarding. Aren't you, aren't you, 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 the people do say it's entrapment, you're vigilantes, you're working outside the law. A vigilante takes the law into their own hands, whereas we take that evidence and we hand it over to the police and they can deal with it that way. We're disgusted by the, the fact that the sentences that they get are so mild. When, when a judge sits in court and says to you, it's not in the public's best interest that this man goes to jail, well, how, how do you... Well, you know, and it's, it's because they say it's a victimless crime, so yeah, the maximum yeah, sentence yeah. they can get is, yeah. is two years. But if it wasn't for us doing what we do, there would be a victim, and that's our aim is pre prevention yeah. rather than the real thing happening. Well, the, the, the case is here in 2014, uh, the, 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 this is using evidence, the police using evidence uh, uh, collected by paedophile hunters, 20 out of 176 cases. 2015, 77 out of 256 cases. 2016, 114 out of 259 cases. And the National Police Chief Chief's Council Head for Child Protection, Chief Constable Simon Bailey, uh, said so-called paedophile hunters are taking risks they don't understand and can under undermine police investigations. Most importantly, unlike our officers, they have no way of safeguarding child victims. Our approach on these groups has not changed. But, he goes on to say, we may consider working with these groups in certain instances if it helps us to protect children and we can manage the risks of their involvement. This is not the solution to the problem of abuse. Can I just ask you, the reaction from the police officers on the scene when they're making an arrest, is it, is it different to your face than the public uh, response yeah. that they have to give? Yeah. Most definitely. Yeah. What did they say to you? The police are happy with our work. Um, I mean, they appear to say certain things, like what they've said, um, we shouldn't be doing it. But if we weren't doing it, the 147 people that we've caught mm. wouldn't, have, wouldn't be in the police radar at all. Um, the lack of funding from the government to the police forces. I mean, all the police uh, stations have been closed down at 8 o'clock now. I mean, there's nowhere for the public to go and trying to ring 101. <laughs> I mean, we are told to ring 101 before we go out on a sting. Uh, we can be on the phone for 45 minutes trying to get through to the police and then we'll just decide to put the phone down. We'll ring 999, tell them that the paedophiles arrived and this, that and the other. And then the police come out and respond. Yeah. And sometimes then we've got to wait 45 minutes to the, for the police to arrive. So everything that we get on camera is vital to the evidence that we hand over to the police. Have you ever made a mistake? No, no. never. And you must be very grateful that, uh, yeah. that they were there to call. I am very grateful. I'm still actually waiting for the police to be in touch for me to give me an update about the case. Really? Gosh, so if it wasn't for these, I wouldn't have a clue. And he's already been sent to prison. Yes. That's crazy. Isn't Just it? the fact that w yeah. the, the fake profiles that we use, there's never a real child involved. And I mean, the morning that we went to hand the phone back to Sally, um, just the smile on her face and a little girl's face after she'd been sobbing and crying the night before just meant everything to us. It was just yeah. absolutely brilliant.